Whether you're playing alone, with friends, or with random pirates and open crew, there's a few things you'll probably always want to do basically every time you get ready to set sail. First off, it's always good to have an idea of what you want to do so that you can optimize for more gold and more reputation. To do this, you can grab an emissary flag from the respective NPC that best matches what kind of treasure that you think you'll most likely be acquiring on your journey. For example, if you think that you're going to be mostly doing vaults, make sure to grab the gold hoarder's flag. Or if you think that you'll end up just having a bunch of mixed loot because you're not really focusing on a single thing, maybe grabbing the reaper's flag could be a really good choice, since you can sell them all kinds of loot for a bonus. For anyone who might not be familiar for how emissary flags work, let me do my best to quickly explain them. After you reach level 20 in any faction, you unlock the ability to hoist up a flag to represent that trading company by voting for it as a crew at a table next to the NPC. That flag starts at level 1, and the more loot that you pick up that is the faction's type of treasure, the flag will slowly level up to level 5. As the flag levels up, everything you sell that is that faction's type of treasure will give you bonus gold and more reputation based on what level your emissary flag currently is. The higher it is, the more bonuses you get. But be careful because if your ship sinks while flying an emissary flag, you'll have to grab a new one and start all over from level 1. Anyway, of course it's fine to set sail without having a plan at all, but in my experience, having at least a small goal in mind really helps out. Grabbing some more supplies is also always a very good idea when you're starting a new play session. Of course, when your ship spawns in alongside you, it has some supplies already, and the amount of supplies that it has depends on what kind of ship it is. The larger your ship, the more supplies that it starts with, but also the faster the supplies will likely be consumed since you'll have more teammates to use them. One easy way to get a ton of extra supplies is the barrels that you'll see around the outpost that you start at. The best way to collect all of these, since you can't fit very much stuff in your pockets, is to head to the merchant NPC that will be on the dock near your ship and buy a general storage crate. This crate is awesome because you can put every single type of supplies in it. Then, if you carry the chest up to each barrel, you'll be able to pull everything inside of it with the push of a button without having to manually move it all yourself. Just make sure not to leave it behind when you set sail. Also, it's very common for people to leave their supplies on a dock somewhere on the outpost once they're done with their pirating for the day. It's kind of an unspoken courtesy thing, so make sure to look around for crates that you didn't put there because you'll pretty frequently find crates full of stuff just waiting to be used. Once you have your first captain ship, you'll be able to save cosmetics to your ship so that it always looks the way that you want it when you load in. But until that happens, you'll have to recustomize your ship every time you load in. And you can do that by heading to the shipwright next to your ship and interacting with this chest. Here you'll be able to change the figurehead, the hull, the sails, the wheel, the cannons, the cannon flares, the capstan, and the flag to make your ship look however you want. Also, if you set sail on a galleon, you'll have even more customization options. Again, if you don't own the ship, you won't be able to save this look, but you can always access this chest every time you spawn in, even if the ship isn't captained. 